Good morning. I'm sorry I haven't been filming much and posting much, especially about driving or anything, but I've been working on this blue hern deterrent and I've had so many iterations of it that I cannot count and I'm still not really, really satisfied. The car is driving right now. We are, because I'm working on that blue hern deterrent, um, it is, uh, I need a piece of, I need a half inch conduit, 10 foot long. So I found that Sure Hardware has it. I am going there to get it rather than Home Depot. I'm going to let the car drive us there as long as I don't really annoy a whole lot of people I may take over if there are a lot of people behind me or anyhow enjoy the ride hey does anybody own one of those motorcycles like that I wonder if they're fun to ride although I gave up motorcycle riding a long time ago because it's dangerous This new version of the autopilot <clears throat> is much more aggressive and by saying aggressive before it was way too timid it had already decided oh it's it's clear are you sure it's clear and it, it questioned itself but now uh, when it sees there are no cars it makes a decision and goes There were no cars coming there, but at the same time, it was a little eh, iffy, you know. I certainly wouldn't want to uh, be uh, in front of a cop uh, driving like that. Like, yo, buddy, come on, let's pull you over here, breathalyzer. Okay, there's a car coming. Very good. And you notice it accelerates quickly. There were no cars coming, but still, it. that I have my hands touching the wheel and that's because every once in a while it nags me and tells me like there uh, to put a little tension on the wheel to make sure that I'm paying attention. There's a little phantom braking there if you notice it probably slowed up to two miles an hour. Well, I'm glad to see you didn't try to run that light. So I hope your day is going well. It's uh, 9.26 and I've been up a couple of hours. Drank a cup of tea. Can't drink coffee anymore, that stinks.
nice, nice execution there. It used to go to the right and then swerve over into this lane, so it chose the proper lane the way it was supposed to. So that's much improved. Now this particular Shure hardware is directly, their parking lot is directly on the road so it will only pull up to in their address in front of it. It will not pull into the parking lot. However, if you see there's a shopping center just on the other side of that gas station over there, there's an Acme and whatever. If it were in there, like it was in my PetSmart video, I think I posted that, um, it in fact would drive you to the front door of the, in this case, Shure Hardware, but uh, no, it's only going to take us to the address and say, your destination is on the right. However, I have audio turned off or uh, its voice turned off because I don't like it. Not that I don't like the voice, it's that I don't like step-by-step -step directions around town because I know where I'm going. I do turn it on, however, if I'm going into a very unfamiliar area because it'll say, you're going to turn right in a thousand feet, 500 feet, you know. Could slow down because of those two cars. So far we've done pretty good. I hope that you don't uh, ruin it for me. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, I thought the light was going to change to yellow. There it nagged me again. destination is here. I'm taking it off autopilot now and I'm going to pull into a parking spot. I'm going to leave the camera running but I'm going to edit out all this wait time because I'm going to show you the 10-foot piece of conduit fits in there. I've had actually four 10-foot long, 4-inch uh, plastic pipe in this car. And could have put more. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> 